Hey all, and welcome to what is at this point kind of a mandatory video for me to do at the end of the year now. I've been doing these since about 2014 and I don't really want to break the chain now. This is the 2021 Flame His World end of year retrospective video. And I'm going to be up front and say this is going to be a much briefer production than what I usually do at the end of the year. I've left it much later to record this and put this together than I usually do because I've been very busy both with other projects and other commitments. So it's going to be a much simpler affair, I'll leave it at that. I'm going to go through the different projects I've worked on on Flame His World, on FC Playthroughs and on Hellfire Comms and just give my thoughts on how things have been going really. So Flame His World, there's just two playthroughs this year and I want to say and officially put it on record that this is probably going to be the norm now. Like, there's not going to be that many playthroughs on Flame His World each year. And that's because just the place I am in my life now, I'm not in a position to dedicate as much time and attention to what is a hobby project as I used to. But I also don't want to just let it die entirely. I'm at a point where I'm just going to make videos when I'm in the position where I can and not worry too much about it when I'm in a position where I can't. That's just where Flames World stands for the time being, for the foreseeable future. But the playthroughs I have done this year are Sayonara Wild Hearts and Astro's Playroom. Sayonara Wild Hearts is a rhythm game that I commentated over and this is something that I wasn't too sure how well it would work out. There were some considerations I had to take about balancing when I talk about the things that are on screen versus when I just let them speak for themselves and just let the music play for itself. I think I got a decent enough balance down. Not entirely sure, I could have gone a bit more talky, I could have gone a bit less talky and it probably could have worked out a bit differently. I'm quite happy with how the playthrough came out on the whole and the fact that I really enjoyed the game and the game's soundtrack contributed to that, so... Yep, I'm glad to have covered Sayonara Wild Hearts. Astro's Playroom is a game that you can download for free on your PS5 when you get one. This playthrough was very out of my comfort zone, both in terms of being a live playthrough and also a semi-blind playthrough. I played through the first couple of levels and I had seen footage of the later levels before but it was my first time finishing the game for myself and I, th I think it turned out okay in that context. The gameplay could have been better if I'd pre-recorded it I reckon but I don't know I, I think as, as it was the playthrough came out okay. So although there wasn't much on Flame as well this year the stuff that there was I can at least say I'm happy with. I don't have any of the lingering, oh, I didn't like this one sort of thoughts that I've had in the past. So, you know, overall, it, I can't complain really. As for FC playthroughs, I'm there's no way in hell I'm going to list off all the playthroughs I've done. There's far too many of them. I think about 24 playthroughs, roughly, that I've done. And that includes some longer RPGs. I did four Pokemon runs, so that's XD... Soul Silver, Pokemon Black, and also Pokemon Sapphire. And I also had Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp Effie Encore, which is a genuinely fun game actually. I know it got a lot of shtick for not being what people expected from a Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem crossover, and also the fact that the Treehouse butchered it to hell and back. But I played it for myself and I enjoyed it and I'm glad I covered that on FC Playthroughs. FC Playthroughs has had a really good year this year. To a point now where I can run that channel as a living and I'm immensely grateful for that. I got my 100k plaque from that channel through this year. I know this is meant to be a Flames World retrospective but I, I'm just really happy about that on a personal note. The fact that as someone who is chronically unemployable really like for the longest time I was out of work because of my anxiety my health conditions I've never been able to get a real job and while I'm not proud of just having this make-believe video game internet job as like my peak I can at least feel satisfied that I made something from nothing 
so yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how FC playthroughs is going. I know it's not going to last forever, and I've been thinking outside the box of what I'm going to do after that. But for the foreseeable future, I'm really happy to keep this as my living. I'm like I really can't complain at all. I'm glad people are enjoying what I'm doing on that channel. The other channel that I want to talk about here that I've been contributing to for many many years now actually the Hellfire comms playthroughs that I've been part of in 2021 so Sonic Mania Plus, Knuckles Chaotix, Sonic R, Pokemon Snap the N64 game that is, Sonic Riders, Sonic the Hedgehog for the Mega Drive and Lego Dimension Sonic the Hedgehog I think my favourite one overall was Sonic R, and I played that, I recorded the footage for it, I played the Saturn version which is in my opinion the better looking version and it was just a fun commentary. It's a game that all three of us have fond memories of, it's a game with a really fun upbeat soundtrack, it's a lot of fun to play even if it is a bit jank at times and it's just a feel-good game and that led to a feel-good commentary. That's the one that I'm most proud of. Like sure it's only one video, it's like half hour long in full, but you know it, it was fun and I'm, I'm proud of how that came out. The other ones that I think were pretty good, I enjoyed doing Knuckles Chaotix, that was a game that I played for the first time lead up to it and that led to some interesting conversations and the Sonic one Mega Drive run was more of a general Sonic anniversary celebration. We put it up on Sonic's birthday and that was more of a just general Sonic podcast than a Let's Play. There are also a couple of just miscellaneous things that I was part of. We did a Sonic Adventure 2 randomizer stream for Tom's birthday. I was in the call for that and that is the kind of experience that needs to be seen to be believed. If you've never played the Sonic Adventure 2 randomizer mod I strongly recommend it. It's just pure unfiltered hilarity from start to finish. We also did another charity marathon this year that being the HSC Adaptathon. The Adaptathon focused on games that are adapted from other media, so games based on comics, games based on films, TV shows, things like that. I'll say, I think on the whole I'm glad that the event was successful, we raised a lot of money. I don't feel my own contributions to the marathon were as solid as they could have been though. Part of the reason for that is that I ended up taking on co-com slots for games that I really had no business talking over. There were a few games like the Lord of the Rings game in particular, I remember I was there in the call and I had nothing to say, I have no experience with the media, but we were a few men down so I ended up having to take on more positions where I really had nothing to bring to the table. Everyone else who was part of the event was on point as usual, I just kind of wish I was more equipped to contribute there. I think my own runs were okay, I did Transformers Devastation, DuckTales Remastered, American Idol for the GBA which is wonderful and Garfield Kart which is also wonderful. So yeah, like, on the whole what's important is that we managed to raise a lot of money for Child's Play which is a fantastic charity and we're also doing another charity marathon next year which will be the second HFC Sonicathon. So we'll be doing a marathon of Sonic games, a few Sonic crossover experiences. We still haven't put together the full games list yet, but it will be starting on the 23rd of June. So if you're able to come along and donate, it will be greatly appreciated and I'm sure it will make a lot of kids happy. So that's pretty much it for this year. I know that this has been a bit all over the place, but all I really want to say to wrap up is I'm grateful to everyone who's helped support everything I've been working on this year. And I hope you all have a fantastic new year in 2022. I'll see you next year for some more playthroughs. Bye bye for now.